Good evening, Virgos, and good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to a new reading here at Dream Doll Virgo Earth Priestess. Welcome, all subscribers, newbies, day ones, moderators. How are you? How have you been? Today is Sunday, February 19, 2023. So. This is going to be a new upload. And so from what I have here, uh, the energy that I'm feeling is that for most of you, uh, you could be going through a transformation after a painful breakup. Okay. So let's jump into your reading. General reading, Sun, Moon, Rise of Venus, North Node, or wherever you may have regular placements. So the first energy that I'm getting here for you guys is that, um, like I said, after going through some sort of a painful breakup, when it comes to that death card, after going through some sort of an ending where maybe perhaps in the beginning you was in denial about a situation that led to some sort of deception where someone was wearing a false mask who you had put all your trust and faith into only to end up feeling stuck and challenged with having to be forced to make a heavy decision whether to leave or stay after discovering you was involved in some sort of a third party entanglement and so i feel like after this breakup you was forced to have to generate some sort of positive um energy as well as financial sources when it comes to seeking out uh, the proper resources when it comes to having to ask for help. Um, I feel as though your most important thing at this time is your stability and security and you feel as though that's all you have left to fight for. And so when it comes to a situation such as this that led to deceit and deception I feel like for some of you you could have even found out that this person uh, was dealing with someone who you knew or perhaps someone who you knew was responsible for the breakup yeah because I feel like you trusted somebody here and you like to somebody who was a confidant, somebody who you thought you could rely on and tell all your secrets to. And I feel as though somebody stabbed you in the back and then went back and told. You know, maybe um, you could have had your eye on somebody, you know what I'm saying? And you could have told a girlfriend and this so-called girlfriend who you thought was your friend, she went back and told your significant other. Or something to that factor. Take it how it resonates. Um, but long story short. I feel like this situation. Uh, it could have led to some sort of. Abrupt explosive. Argument of disagreement. Once the truth was exposed. Causing someone to feel. Left out in the cold. Because you got. A lot of swords. And five of pentacles here. And I feel as though uh, somebody feeling emotionally left out in the cold after this painful breakup. Fears of not having nobody in your life. Feeling as though you're all alone. Led to some sort of disappointment and grief with that dear Five of Cups. Causing you to have to leave this situation behind. Or causing somebody to have to leave this toxic comic situation behind. I feel for some of you, you could have definitely been dealing with a narcissist. With the Seven of Swords. Somebody who was only coming and going. This person could have been cheating on you and using you for stability. Why going out and messing around with other people? Which led to some sort of stress and anxiety. Because you can't believe this person stabbed you in the back like this. Like I said, I feel like this is somebody who you could have found out cheated on you with a friend. Somebody who you could who you thought you was close to. And it caused a tower moment <laughs> where you could have falsely had no choice but to put this person out after you discovered this person has slept with your friend. 
I feel like the high priestess was sitting here warning you, trying to give you a heads up. Was kind of tapping you on the shoulder, telling you that you need to carefully examine this situation. Because maybe for some you wasn't aware that you had got yourself in a situation like this. Because I'm definitely picking up this has to do with a friend. I'm getting strong rose quartz energy here. So it's like now, after this situation, you're forced to take back charge of your own life and set your own rules and boundaries where you're forced to move forward and take back your power. So you could now be taking on the Empress energy or you could be dealing with the Aries. And so you could be having some fear and doubt. So when it comes to taking this leap forward, not knowing what's ahead when it comes to the full card, I feel as though you are ready for some sort of a change. For others, this could definitely, uh, for some of you also, I'm also getting that, um, For some of you, you kind of got tired of dealing with someone where you kept questioning yourself whether or not this is right because you feel like every, the only time this person comes around is for intimacy. You know, maybe y'all smoke together, drink together, and you kind of get tired of this person coming over always wanting to have sex, smoke weed, drink, you know what I'm saying, get high. And that's pretty much all you got to this situation. Some of you could definitely be dealing with Gemini energy, a past or present lover. And so it's like now you're ready to say bye because it could have been some sort of a block of communication, a distraction. Where the two of you just, uh, or you begin to pull your energy away. You begin to feel somewhat distance from this person. And so now you're ready to uh, free yourself and move forward. You're ready to take action when it comes to taking back your life. Because this situation has definitely begun to burden you. And so now you're at a point in your life where you're ready to release these burdens. And you're ready to nurture yourself and separate from things that no longer serve you. You're at the point where you're ready to overcome conflicts and take positive action to move forward. And some of you are going to find yourself going on hermit mode and going within. So, when it comes to your uh, outcome of this situation, moving forward... After done and said, many of you will definitely be beginning to manifest with this here magician card. Where I do feel as though some of you are going to be taking on this hyphen card. So some of you may have Taurus in your birth chart or you was dealing with a Taurus. When it comes to seeking answers from a higher source. Well, this could have been and this could have evolved a Taurus. But, however, I feel as though when it comes to you manifesting and moving forward, some of you may find yourself um, perhaps thinking about involving yourself in some sort of positive group environment. You know, where you may find yourself going to uh, webinars and women, women's retreat. Because I feel as uh, though some of you, I don't know, because I'm getting, I'm getting different um, downloads here for some. I don't know, for some this is, could be an AA meeting or NA meeting. For others of you, this could be church. For others of you, this could be just getting together in some sort of group resource here. When it comes to um, domestic violence and that sort of thing where you may be deciding to uh, take up some sort of positive class that can help you because I'm getting like some sort of a 13 step program or a 12 step program
I feel like you're ready to help yourself and take the next step. Like I said, some of you could definitely be going through a spiritual resurrection, a transformation, because judgment is here, receiving some sort of wake-up call. Yeah, because it was definitely somebody here who suffered with some sort of bipolar mood swing disorder. So now you probably got your mind on your money when it comes to the Ace of Pentacles. You're ready for some sort of new beginning when it comes to the Ace of Cups. I feel like I said, I feel like many of you are getting ready to level up when it comes to taking on some sort of new study or learning something new. Like I said, classes, maybe some of you could be thinking about going back to school. Or you're just putting your energy into a new positive environment, doing something different. Focus on some sort of healthy goal for yourself. Perhaps going to be collaborating with others. You could be seeking out a new job, employment. Somebody could be checking out your resume, cover letter. And they're interested in your skills. Yeah, because I feel as though some of you could definitely be thinking about traveling. Whether this is overseeing new opportunities or traveling overseas. Or this traveling for some sort of new business opportunity in general that involves traveling. I feel like your hard work is definitely going to pay off. Um... And you can have somebody here who may even be thinking about wanting to make some sort of donation towards you, a good cause, or maybe this could be you thinking about wanting to make a donation. I feel like when it comes to moving forward with the Six of Wands, you will regain some sort of public recognition or reward for your hard work and success. I feel like you're definitely going to be focused on the Seven of Pentacles. When it comes to putting your mind on something long term. Or watching closely how you spend your time. When it comes to managing your harvest. And uh. Yeah even something you could think about. I don't know. You could think about changing the house outside. I don't know. Landscaping. I don't know. Planting seeds or shopping for flowers or something like that. Working in the garden. I don't know why I'm getting that. Others of you are definitely going to be uh, working on improving your skills for sure when it comes to working on things that you're very passionate about. I feel like for you there will be some wishes granted that's going to come your way that may even help you out somewhat financially because there could be some dissatisfaction due to somebody coming in and stealing material wealth from you. I feel like moving forward, there will be some sort of a Ten of Cups when it comes to healing a situation. Whether it has to do with healing yourself emotionally, spiritually, getting grounded. I feel like you are going to definitely be tapping into your spiritual ability where you are ready for something new. You will be setting clear boundaries moving forward and you're definitely going to be embodying this here Queen of Cups. When it comes to you being emotionally stable moving forward. So that's the outcome of that reading, Virgo. If it resonates, feel free to leave me a comment in the comment section. As always, love and God bless.